Hey guys, Grassman here. Welcome back to the uh, Magic Survival Game. This music is amazing. You hear it? It's, it's really like peaceful. Resume previous progress, yes. So as a reminder, we're at 14 minutes. Um, the abilities we have are, well, six tsunami and cyclone. We're using Archmage for tsunami stuff. Um, high high speed casting, so minus 10% cooldown. Um, arcane effect should make it plus 10% plus 20% magic size and radius. It's level six shield. Regeneration. Um, propagation, so number of magic. Haste downsize satellites, level five. Refine mana attack and magic circle. I still don't know what the black holes do. Um, magic bolt, I guess. Oh, jeez, a lot of damage there. So I do heal very slightly. I believe I also heal when I put my artifacts. Um, minus damage taken, number of cyclone and movement speed, or cyclone movement speed. Um, passing through all matter, number of magic, 1 HP or so when gaining MP globes, and satellite damage. Okay. I can go pick up some of these for healing. Death Note. Death Note is the only anime I watch. Or did watch. I watched it for a while. Um, damage, rotation, speed. I'm gonna go over damage. I do need some higher damage stuff. I don't usually take damage things, but damage is important, because otherwise I don't get one shot. Most of the things don't get one shot anyway, but... Oh, this part's hell. Ah, uh, what? I'm gonna arrive there. Yeah, done. Hang on, pause this. Um, I've only got one thing. How do I only have one mastered? That's wrong, I don't have one mastered. Um, so we- and we are gonna keep playing this game. We are gonna do, like, some combinations, some fusions of mastery things. We're gonna try and master everything at some point. Maybe we can master it all simultaneously. I don't know how long we have to survive for that. Um. Magic Bolt, I guess. You would need really strong shield and regen abilities. I think with enough playing, you could get to a point where you'd be able to survive a long, long enough time to get almost everything. Or at least get a cut more things mastered. Explosion guys do almost all my health instantly. Regen. I need to lower the tsunami's cooldown. Got the invincibility. Damage taken minus 10%. Oh, How did I survive that? I got the invincibility thing, that was really lucky. Um, 
don't know, Blizzard, sure. I think Blizzard was okay. Blizzard does like the falling of those things falling from the sky. Okay, down goes my shield. And tornadoes all went into hell. Okay, follow them, yes. I don't know what the big thing is. I think it's somewhere I'm not supposed to walk. Oh, jeez. Just a normal guy, too. Swarm. Unlock zone. S sewerage. The basic formation of mutant spirit, spirit energy, concentration, transformed into a mi mysterious organic community. Swarm. This mutant virus increases th their population in a way that, way that is made the hosts replicate themselves. Unlike zombies and vampires, spread their virus by approaching others to infect. Self-replicating viruses, however, can only... Self-replicating viruses, however, can only be activated during a certain degree of s stimulation. So there were no stimulants, or it couldn't sense it. It can slow down the virus movement, virus's movement speed. And soon remain dormant. Therefore, the virus manipulates the growth speed of host, host to get as much stimulation as possible. It keeps manipulating the balance of power in the war, and then spread special magic particles containing the data of stim stimulation to share it with all spirits they can continuously activate. Survival time seven, over 17 minutes and now over 10,000 kills. More 700 points. Outstanding evolution. Gain a highly quali quality, high quality cells. Can conduct large scale expansion. Yeah. We had lots of abilities there. We were at level 41. Experiments com one experiment completed with almost a second. New class. Archmist. Archemist? Archemist. Try to try maxing something. So that's Energy Bolt, the Archemist. So I think I like the Archmage and the Enchantress. So let's go... Buying a point is 2200. And retrieve that. Hmm. MP taken plus fifteen percent when choose the MP taking ability board. When not moving point three, always point zero eight or 0.5 when getting an MP globe. I think just normal regeneration is good. What's the second one you can get? 0.12. Magic radius and size there I like. Effect duration as well. I think this these three are my favorite. Or not, not favorite, these three are just best. I can't buy another research point. I can't do anything with the subject. So, I kind of like... I don't know, I think Archmage is fine. So now it's 15, 17. Start level plus 10. Oh, so this one is reward plus 30%. This one's start level plus 10 and survives as long as possible. The experiment wastes are, inc are incinerated or discharged with sewers after melting by the specific heat process. Various treatment. Okay, let's try this. So we're starting with tsunamis and 10 levels. So let's go downsize, spirit, a tsunami, resistance, satellite, okay, recovery, tsunami, take number of tsunami, tsunami, satellite, tsunami. So we've got satellites, spirits, tsunamis, regen, resistance, and downsize. That's a lot of guys off the bat. Jeez. It doesn't matter if we take a little bit of hits, I have, um... I've got the regen, so... There's not a lot of MP globes in the ground. I was about to say there aren't any, but there are some. 
the, 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 the hurt things disappear after a while after running, so those aren't, it's not important to save them. Enemy movement speed minus 8%. I do like that. Oh jeez, what's that? That's a new guy. It exploded. What do those explodey things do? Mm -hmm. I'm getting surrounded here. Tsunami. Cool down. Ow, why did I walk into that? Controller is in weird, keeps going in weird spots. Satellite. Um. Size. Arcane radius. The arcane radius and the magic circle, I think it's called. They're the ones that make things bigger and last longer. Those ones are really good. Um, so circle or high speed casting. Circle is effect duration plus 20%. That's really made the tsunami much better. Oh, I'm dead already. That was fun. Disappointing results. Mm-hmm. Shaman. 1%. So what's the shaman do? Thunderstorm. Let's go Archmage again. So they've got different levels. How do you, like, know what level they are? What's the max level? You guys know? Because people have been talking in the comments about, like, maxing certain things. And it says, like, mastery points 20%. Do you just master it once it gets to 100? Or do you actually have to, like, master it multiple times? Are there multiple levels it can hit? So let's go back to the array zone. I guess we should have done the laboratory for more points, but... Actually, yeah, let's go do the laboratory. More points. Uh, I didn't mean... That's not what I meant to do there. I didn't know it was going to leave the game. Still version point seven eight eight. This is a really fun game. I'm definitely going to do more of it. I usually don't do more of a game unless people are enjoying it, but people are definitely... Or people are watching it. I usually judge based on the views. If it gets closer to, like... Doesn't... If it gets, like... If it gets, like, more than 10 views, really, it's done, it's done well. Island War usually does, does that, but I've run out of things to do on Island War. Select. Okay, Laboratory for plus 30% reward. Yeah, I ran out of things to talk about in Island War. Well, I didn't really run out of things to talk about. I ran, I ran out of things to talk about in Island War, so I've been talking about Hollow Knight instead. I am getting close to the 10 million gold video, though. Tsunami, right off the bat. Oh no, we already had Tsunami. We already had it from the Archmage. Okay. It's not helpful unless I take Incineration. Incineration is a good ability, though. Cyclone. Cyclone again. Number. I always go number of tsunami first, and then like cool. I think I usually go cooldown second. Let's 
Cyclone. Number of Cyclone. That's a really good one. Getting the Tornado, because it makes three appear. Okay, what, what, what should we talk about? Ooh, that's a really good one. Magic effect duration plus 24%. Jeez. That's already making the Cyclones and the Tsunami much bigger. The Cyclones, gr the cyclones grow with time. So that's making them much bigger. And the Tsunami lasts a lot longer now. Effect duration. I should start taking some shield or regen or something soon. But... Vitality. Vitality does do like max HP, so it is helpful. So what should, what should we talk about then? We can talk about something while I'm playing. What do they get? Cyclones. They call it. It's just like a different. It's the same thing as a tornado, but it happened. Or no, I think a cyclone and a hurricane are the same thing. But they call it hurricanes in America. They call it like cyclones on the East Coast, so Asia, Japan, Australia. And it's like a typhoon in Europe. And then tornadoes are a different thing. Tornadoes are land-based storms. They're think that it's air circling on land. Tornado uh, hurricanes come off of water. Dreamer. Magic effect duration, but magic cooldown. The effect duration increases, but cooldown decreases. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Because now these are lasting a long time. So it's fine with tornadoes, because they... They last longer. Damage taken, it's good. Number of magic, that's good. So I'm not sure how that works with Tsunami, if the Tsunami cooldown starts after it's already gone, because otherwise, infinite you could possibly get infinite Tsunami and that'd be too OP. I'm putting worse things towards the right. For armor. So I think, like, the the re reset starts after you've already after it's ended. So you can increase the effect duration, but then it just takes longer to start again. Whereas the the cyclones, they'll just happen again after a while anyway. Oh jeez. Tsunami, um, size. Size is also a good one. I usually do, like, either cooldown or size on the second one. Size just makes it giant. At the same time, it doesn't really matter how big it is if you never get to use it, so. There's actually a sort of math, like, oh god, that really hurt. There's a sort of math, like, a sort of math thing. If you, so for example, if I have, like, ten levels, and I can, and each level is a multiplication of the other level for how strong it is. And I have ten levels I can put points into. What is the best... What what am I going to get the strongest attack for? Well, if I put it ten and zero, I'm going to get ten times zero, zero. If I put it nine and one, I'm only getting nine attack. So the best thing you can do... Eh. The best thing you can do is go five and five for twenty-five. Anything else, like six and four, is twenty-four... But 5 and 5 will be 25. So even on the same, even on both sides, it will be the best you can do. Because if I'm, like, comparing damage to how often it's going, 
if I'm if I'm going like either damage or how often it fires, a medium amount of both is the best thing you can do. Um, cooldown or damage damage and size. Damage I do find is more important, or like in the later area at least. And size. Look at the size of these things. And that's why I'm not even using the class that increases their size. I'm not using the class or any of the buffs that increase their size. I'm using, like, the healing ability. I think I am using, actually, the one of the abilities that increases their size, but I'm using the healing ability as one. Of those, like, abilities you can choose before time. And my class isn't the one that's making it bigger. My class is a tsunami class. Ooh. Number of Cyclone and the movement speed. Their size goes down. I don't want that this time. I, I, have, a, I have my size huge. My Cyclone's huge, bros. <laughs> Okay, here's hell. These cyclones are really good at protecting you during, like, rush points. You can just stay in them until your tsunami recharges, and then it annihilates everything on the screen. The cyclones and tsunamis are definitely the best. Blizzards are also quite good. I believe they have some sort of slowing effect, and they just rain down a lot of it randomly. Energy bolt cooldown, plus one second. Number of energy bolts, fifteen percent I think that's a new one, though. I haven't seen that one before. Satellite damage, cyclone cooldown. Ooh. Yeah. I need a shield upgrade so my shield recharges faster. Attack plus 1% per minute increases up to 20%. Ooh. I'm gonna take that. It's only if I can survive another 20 minutes, though. Oh, jeez. That would've been death. Running into those red things does almost all of your health. I think it does something around 80%. So it wouldn't quite have been death, but it wouldn't have brought me really close, and possibly it made me panic to death. Shield. I do want to upgrade the satellites soon, but the shield's also important. I've just been taking the strongest powers. I think next time I'm going to try and like take some of the... Next time I'm going to try and take some different powers. Like, next time I might aim for taking a specific power. There, I know, there's a bunch of them I haven't, like, used much. Because I haven't used the fireball much. I haven't used, like, the lightning ones much. I use a lot of tornado and... Or you know what I can do? I can try and unlock all the classes first, and then I can start messing around with specific ones. At the same time, that'll take longer. So let, let me know what you want to see in the comments. Let me turn this down for a sec. Ah, see, lots of damage. Do you want me? To, do you want to see me next time try and max out some of the other abilities? Like this, I've been doing cyclones and tsunamis here. But would you like to see the electric powers instead? Or I'm gonna die. I had the invincibility from that orb. That was so lucky. Or would you like me to? Or would you? Oh, that's a good one. Or do you want me to unlock all the classes, and then I can do it based on a class. I can equip one of the electric classes, and then I'll start with the, the power. So I think having the power makes it more likely to come up next time. Wow, that's a really good one. Pocket Watch is good. Except 
So if, so if I start with one of the electric things, I'll be more likely to get the electric things. It's starting to get annoying. So let me know what you'd like me to see. Would you like me to try and just start doing it next time, or would you like me to unlock the classes first? I always ask these questions, and then I immediately forget what the question I asked was. And someone responds in the comments, I'm like, what exactly are you talking about? So, yeah, because for now I've been doing, like, tsunamis, cyclones, and satellites, and spirits sometimes. But there's, like, the lightning power, there's incineration, which is also quite good. There's the lightning powers, the blizzard. Um, what else is there? Armageddon. I have to look through them all. Is there a way to, like, no. There's a way to see it when you're, like, before you combine powers, you can see what they all are and which ones you have available. Cyclones and Tsunamis are the definitely the best one for lasting the longest, though. So I'd probably just continue to use them if I were trying to unlock the rest of the classes or get experience or points. Oh my god. Um... And then there's, like, the shield, too. There's, like, the shield regen, I think those count as powers. Uh, there's meteor, fireball... Electric bolts, lightning, the shock one, like electric radius, so those are like three different electric powers. I know I'm forgetting a couple of things as well. I think there's a frost nova, there's an electric nova, there's like, an, there's an electric nova, and a frost nova, and then there's like blizzard, which is raining electric, and there's lightning storm, which is like raining lightning. You probably know what a thunderstorm is, don't you? Oh, jeez. Trying to get that artifact. Wasn't worth it. There's black holes everywhere. Yeah, there's electric zone. I don't know, corpse explosion. I do have to end this right away. I have a feeling we're going to die, though. Oh, yep. GG. There we go. Druid. So what's the druid do? Cyclones, nice. So now we have the cyclone and the archmage. Your tsunamis and cyclones. Okay, sorry, I had a conversation about luck for like a half hour there. So, uh, that's great, we can go... Buy, buy a research point. And we can get... This is our fourth one now. So we can go number of magic, um, cooldown, some sort of healing. Restore HP and MP 20% every 5 minutes. Instant death rate, attack minus. I don't like that it's attack down. I retrieve that. So that's 1 in 15, and it's 2 in 20. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the ones that make me take more damage. Or do something bad. When not moving. I think this one's also good. So there we go. So hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed Remember, if you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do next, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.